This is a John Deere 4310 E-Hydro and uh, it's got a problem. When you pull the PTO switch, the PTO light comes on. Before you ask, the seat switch has been jumped. It's not a factor. These e-hydros have a diverter that comes off the hydraulic pump. And uh, the PTO and the mechanical four-wheel drive are operated by activating these solenoids. The one in the rear to the left in this picture is the PTO. I already did some half-ass electrical testing. I got 75 ohms on both of the solenoids, which I don't think was right. But uh, but the voltage was good uh, to the solenoids, and that considering that the next thing would be a a, a clutch problem, which would be a big uh, a big deal, I'm going to go ahead and replace these solenoids. I used a 14 millimeter socket on a one quarter inch driver up here. These are the actual valves that sit inside the diverter body. Okay, little tip. You've got to put two solenoids into one connector. The problem is that the diagram that comes with the package is wrong. If you look at the end of these metal connectors, the notch is on the bottom. That's wrong. It needs to go up. It needs to go up so that it locks into these little plastic tabs in the top of the connector. If you try to do it the other way, it doesn't work. I did some thinking about this and I was concerned the solenoids weren't the problem. There's two valves in there that the solenoid activates, and they're, they're actually the moving part. And so if anything's going to get clogged or stuck, it'll be the valves. So about this time, I decided to take the diverter body off. There's four bolts that hold the diverter body onto the transmission. They're 10 millimeter uh, bolts. And then I took the uh, connectors off. I took pictures of it first so I wouldn't get confused when I put it all back together. By the way, you got to drain the transmission fluid before you do this. This is a 7 8 box wrench. So here's what I found. I took the valve bodies out, hooked a solenoid back on the top, and I just put 12 volts from a battery across it. Well, after I put the new solenoid on the first valve body, it worked. Um, but then I took the second valve body out, and it didn't work. And I had to pound on a little bit, you know, tap it and move it. And I finally got that one to work. But when I got them to work, I put the old solenoids back on there, and they worked with those too. So I don't know if the old solenoids just lost a little oomph. But anyways, at this point, I decided I'll give it a shot and put it all back together. While I was researching this, I found out that if it's not an electrical problem, then there's only a few mechanical parts that can be wrong, bad. It can be the valves, it can be the solenoids. And if it's not those things, then it's a sleeve inside the PTO clutch. And although it's not the end of the world, that's kind of a big project. And I was really hoping that, that this would fix it. 